eradicated the boll weevil with lead arsenic. So that's another reason we're getting a whole a high levels of lead and arsenic in our water samples that we are testing. But if you look at Janet McMahon, Osceola, Georgia, and the picture is four little kids that were diagnosed with cancer within nine months, ten days of each other. They live just north of me. My son is actually considered a cancer cluster by himself because he was 24, diagnosed with a gastroesophageal junction adenocarcinoma. He had a baseball-sized uh, cancer right where his esophagus dumps into his stomach, and they told us he would not live six months. He probably would not live two months, but that was November 13, 2009, and at that point, our two dogs had gotten cancer. I had gotten cancer. We, my husband's a doctor. We knew the only thing that connected the four of us was the water, so we changed his water to Culligan water that you get in the big blue jugs. And then um, that's when I started telling everybody, all the doctors who had patients with cancer, tell your patients, test their water for arsenic because we found arsenic in our water. And then um, we got a letter that had been sent to the extension agents that were finding the toxic levels and they said it's not our intent to alarm the public. The industries that are putting chemicals in the water have their thumb on the legislators who also have their thumb on the laws. And you'll, as you read my Facebook, you'll find out a lot about it. And so they are suppressed. They cannot warn people to test their water. And so my husband and I couldn't believe it was happening. We took that letter to Washington, D.C. and talked to Austin Scott, who is our congressman up there. We talked to a lot of congressmen up there, but Austin Scott was the only one that helped. And he put my husband in touch with the National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences. And those are the people that do the actual cancer studies, the cancer cluster studies. And they told them that they have known since the 80s that the arsenic in the water here is causing cancer clusters, but because of politics, they are not allowed to warn anybody. So it's up to us to tell people, test your water, test your water, test your water. And you can take it to your extension agent. Your extension agent is a good person. He has a family, you know, he's part of the community. It's not his fault that the laws will not let him warn. Like if you live next door to me, and I have heavy arsenic and lead, like uh, one lady had 46 <coughs> times the amount of lead that she should have in her water. He can't tell you, you need to test your water. And I think that's wrong, but that's the way the government uh, has the law. So that's why <coughs> as individuals, we need to get the word out. They are finding uh, uranium where granite is underground. Bolingbroke, <laughs> which is just north of Macon, there's a road, Pate Road, where uh, the water filters cost $17,000 to get all of the uranium out of the water. So uh, the lady there went to Atlanta, to the Capitol, and they're helping, it's going to take a year and a half, but helping getting funding to send pipes from Macon out to Pate Road so all those people that live on that road don't have to pay $17,000 for a water filter. And so, you know, knowledge helps, you know, if people will just test their water, but everybody thinks, my grandmother drank this water, you know, that's what I get to on farms and such. My grandmother drank this water and she lived to be 106, you know, that kind of thing. It's not like it was back then. Our water table is much lower and there's a lot more fertilizers and a lot more industries than there were when his grandmother was coming.